Today I want to talk to you on this thought of not only finding the purpose of God, but following the path of God. And as we follow the path of God, we've got to learn the people factor, the people factor, because whatever God's plan or purpose for you is, it's always going to include people. And if you can do the people part well, you'll be amazed at how fast God can move you down the path that he has for you. Let's go in our Bibles to the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 12. It says, Dear brothers and sisters, honor those who are your leaders in the Lord's work. They work hard among you and give you spiritual guidance. Show them great respect and a wholehearted love because of their work and live peacefully with each other. As we look at the story of Israel traveling through the wilderness, many times they suffered because they showed great disrespect for people who were leading them. And we need to be countercultural as Christians. And let's not do what the world is doing by tearing leaders down, but let's do what God would do, lift people up. And while every leader is not perfect, I promise you rebellion against leaders will not end up good for you. So let's create a culture of honoring people that God has put in our lives. And I'll tell you, when you learn to honor others, God will bring people that will help honor you as well. So honoring people is the first people factor. Let's go on to verse 14. Brothers and sisters, we urge you to warn those who are lazy, encourage those who are timid, and take tender care of those who are weak. Be patient with everyone. Be patient. Sometimes we can get frustrated or impatient with people, especially when they're hurting. But honestly, the path and the purpose of God is going to take you into the lives of hurting people. And you can't get burnt out or, or critical. They're just hurting. And that's why God brought you there. God brought you there to bring ministry to broken lives. And don't get caught up in the drama. You know, if you start chasing the rumor rat, you're going to lose focus. Look for people and look for people that you can be a blessing to. And then thirdly, the people factors, honoring leaders, encouraging others, and then forgiving your enemies. Verse 15, see that no one pays back evil for evil, but always try to do good to each other and to all people. Uh, you're going to be either happy or oversensitive. But you can't be both. I want to encourage you, don't make plans for revenge. Make plans to be good to people who have not been good to you. And when you do that, you are exemplifying the nature of Christ. And we don't forgive people only to be free. We forgive people because we love people. And you begin to forgive people. You'll be amazed at those very same people that maybe there was a friction with could be the very people that God uses to promote you to the next part of the path that he has for you. So follow these three steps in the path of God. Honor your leaders, encourage others, forgive your enemies, and you will not only start, but you'll finish well finding the purpose of God.